everybody and welcome back to another video. So in this particular video I'm going to be looking at Greece. Like a lot of countries they've gone internal once again and this year they've selected Victor Vernikos as their representative. Of course they've been outsourcing on countries again but don't a lot of people. His song is called What They Say. I have heard the song. I know somebody who's a pretty big fan of the song so at least you got one person. But this is my opportunity to go through the song and just give you my general thoughts and opinions around it. By the way, uh, the clip that might be that will be used in the in sort of review reaction, it might be muted. Um, I did have the problem with Cyprus, and I had to go back and mute the thing. Uh, so it might be a case where the copyright squad might come along and go, mm, "Hang on a minute." So uh, yeah. Anyways, let's have a look. I still can't get past this voice and that he's 16, it's so mature and deep. So it's obviously a singer-songwriter kind of style song. You listen to it and initially you think it's got a bit of a British vibe to it. So I had to turn the volume down, it's quite loud, can't hear myself. It's not verses, not too bad. Leads up to the chorus. It's a foot tapper and it's like, it's a song you would expect to hear on the radio. I guess a lot of people are going in with somewhat radio friendly songs this year. Not necessarily a bad thing. I do like the chorus and though, it does have some promise in there and it's a good transition to that second verse. I did like that. I don't know, I can hear a voice in my head and I'm thinking of a picture in a singer but I can't remember who exactly. It's a very intense song, you know, very personal almost. It's different for Greece, they're branching out, aren't they? It's, I like this experimental um, era of theirs. It's a pretty decently well written song as well. I don't want to say it's a bit too much mature for a 16 year old, but it's quite mature. There we go, now the punch kicks in, now the peak kicks in. This bit is the part where I'm just like, okay, now this is the really good bit. I mean, that final third is obviously the, the biggie hey. part. Um, I'm just wondering if it comes in a little bit too late. And obviously it's building, it's building, it's building, it's building. And then obviously that final third, that's when it really pushes in and hits that peak. And I'm just wondering, are people going to be a little bit switched off by the time that rolls around? Or people are going to look at it and go, come on, come on, come on, come on. And then when it hits, they're like, yes, there we go. I mean, I personally like it because it's somewhat different. It's probably something that I would listen to on the radio and go, yeah, this is quite solid. I don't mind this. I'm going to add this to my playlist. Um, I know it's not for everyone and a lot of people are not really on board with it. But like I always say, just because not, it's not your cup of tea doesn't mean to say it's not going to be anyone's. It's quite similar in style to Cypress. They're both going in with a sort of a, a heartfelt, personal, intense sort of song. Um, the idea of the sad boy songs, I suppose you could say. But this one obviously has a bit of a different intensity to some of the others. But, um, yeah, it's not bad. I would probably say if I was to compare it to last year's, I still prefer last year's entry. But this is still actually quite good and I think a lot of people are sleeping on it. Of course, it will have support in semi-final two. Obviously, Cyprus is there. But I did hear that he's, um, he's Danish, so Denmark are in semi two as well so they've got the support there as well i do love his voice that is that is stunning for a 16 year old that is absolutely stunning and it's so mature to a point where it almost sounds like much more beyond his own years so i mean obviously you can only get better from this i don't know maybe a few years down the line it could be even better so yeah um i have to compliment that it's it's impressive, really impressive. I'm just hoping that all of it just comes together on stage in Liverpool and people are actually quite surprised and wowed by it. Very, very underrated, people are sleeping on it. I am looking forward to seeing what it's like. So yeah, that is my general thoughts and opinions on the song for the time being. Feel free to add your own down. Do you think people are sleeping on it? You think it's rather underrated or do you think people are actually right? It's not all what it is. Feel free to add that down. Do you think it's also going to end up qualifying into the grand final? Personally, I think yes. But we'll leave that one there for now. Anyways, uh, I'll leave you guys to it. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. Stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next video.